Nick Bosa, where do things stand on that? How is it playing uh, out? Still, still in a contract impasse. 49ers are confident that they can get him in in the next week or 10 days. Okay. And so what's the holdup here? He's asking for too much or we're, we're, uh, we're in well, the T-crossing, yeah, I-dotting guess, portion of this. What do you got? What do you think? My guess would be that what – what Nick Bosa's side wants would be to make him the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL. Whereas the 49ers might push back a little bit on that, or maybe a lot on that and say, well, the Aaron Donald contract is kind of apples and oranges. So, you know, maybe the TJ Watt contract at 28 million a year is more in line. You know, a bump up from that is more in line than the 31.6 million that, Aaron Donald is making because that was kind of tacked on for a couple of years. Uh, you're talking Aaron Donald, three-time NFL defensive player of the year. Rams were just coming off a Super Bowl win as well. So uh, to me, that would kind of be uh, the hold up there. Just which comp are you using? Are you using uh, TJ Watt or are you using Aaron Donald? And it's interesting that the Niners would have the ability to pay Bosa, you know, um, because they're going to be starting a kid with three more years left on a seventh round final pick of the draft contract, right? And I'm sure Bose exactly. is pushing the same thing, saying, "Hey, you pay my guy. You're like you're you're starting somebody who's got the final pick of the draft contract for three more years." Yeah, you know where the 49ers have an advantage right now is that they're basically not paying their quarterback, right? You uh, and they they have him on this really, you know, relatively speaking, cheap deal, not only for this season, but the for next. next season as well. Right. And then only after three years can they, are the sides that even allowed to renegotiate a contract. So wh- whereas every other top team in the NFL is paying their quarterback, what, $40 million plus per year, the 49ers don't have anything. So that allows them, you know, to pay Nick Bosa. It allows them to pay George Kittle and Fred Warner and Trent Williams and allows them to go out in free agency and get uh, Javon Hargrave. So it allows them to really build out the rest of that roster like they've done because the quarterback comes so cheaply. In the two minutes I have left, what's your reporting on Phillip Rivers? Would that have happened if if somehow the I Eagles had gotten – had, had, had the Niners gotten past the Eagles last that year? That was the plan. Yeah, that was the plan that uh, Phillip Rivers, if, if the 49ers had somehow gotten past the Eagles – after Brock Purdy, you know, sustained that, that torn elbow ligament, that the plan was to to get Philip Rivers up to speed rather quickly, and that he would have been the the starting quarterback in the Super Bowl hmm. over Josh Johnson. You know, Josh Johnson. Remember, they they signed him off the Broncos practice squad after the Garoppolo injury, and so. Yeah, it would have been uh, it would have been pretty remarkable. Well, obviously, it would have been remarkable for the 49ers to to defeat the Eagles without a quarterback. But uh, yep, it would have been uh, quite a quite a scene to to see them just wheel out uh, uh, Philip Rivers and and uh, his his debut with the 49ers would have been uh, the most important game of his life. <sighs> But it's not like, you know, they had Phillip on speed dial for the first time at halftime when they knew that Purdy was significantly injured, right? I mean, so th- no. Phillip must have been on on the hook for a while, and I think that's what Kyle Shanahan said. Let's just say Purdy had not gotten hurt. Niners had gotten through, like Debo Samuel keeps saying they would have. And so would they have would, would Phillip have been on the on the team, do you think? With Jimmy G convalescing? Do you think? I, I don't know because at that point, I think they were still holding out hope or expecting right. that it, with another two weeks, Garoppolo would have been the number two. You know, the, but no one was going to unseat Purdy, uh, but, but we're talking, I think when the initial conversations with Philip Rivers happened, it was, hey, you know, basically, uh, what kind of shape are you in? Because if something else disastrous happens, we want you. And it, it certainly sounds like Philip Rivers was was open to that and, and started doing a little bit of work just in case. And that that just in case would have happened if um, if the 49ers had again somehow kind of tough to uh, to win a football game in the NFC Championship game, no less when you have a quarterback who cannot throw a football. But yes. let's just say that Josh Johnson had remained healthy and and the 49ers had somehow scrapped together that victory. Then uh, Philip Rivers would have been wearing 
49ers colors in the Super Bowl. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.